Welcome, this is Zan with Repo Products. Today's video is on Dynamo Studio and using it to upgrade multiple Revit files to a current higher version of Revit. I have a situation where a client says, we have multiple files in Revit. They're in different file formats and they're on the server somewhere. So here are my files. I need to upgrade all of them to a current version. And so on my particular laptop, I'm running version Revit 2018.2. And there are a couple of ways you can approach doing this with Dynamo and without Dynamo. If you do not want to use Dynamo, you can just grab all your files like this and drag and drop it into the Revit window that you have open. Now, depending on the Revit session that you have open and the version you have open, these files will get thrown into that session and they'll be opened. And then uh, once they're all open, save everything and you're manually saving them. Okay, it takes a little bit of a process. However, today we're gonna look at using Dynamo instead. So again, here are all of my files. I'm in Revit 2018. Head over to the Manage tab of the ribbon. Head over and click Dynamo. If it's grayed out, this button over here, that means Dynamo is already open, which I have over here. If I close it, then that command will not be grayed out. So I'll click Dynamo again so it opens up. And we'll open up this particular script file. Now in order <clears throat> to make this particular script file function, there are a couple of packages that you will need. One is called danedu and one is called um, rhythm. Now when we talk about packages, you can head over here to the menu toolbar and it says packages. You can search for packages and you can manage your existing packages and you can actually make your own package and publish it. The packages, uh, let's go to manage for example, you'll see all of the packages that I have downloaded and placed into this computer for working with Dynamo. <clears throat> and basically we have people out there who are creating these packages that have a lot of content in them, custom nodes, custom scripts, Python scripting, things like that and it helps with automating Dynamo quite a bit. So the ones that we want are Rhythm and DanEDU. So when you go to Packages, do a search, and make sure you have the latest version, okay? So upgrade to the latest version of Dynamo, and also when you do the search, it will sync to Dynamo servers. Give it a second. And then there's a search field up here in the very, very top that you can click inside, and you can type in for example, Dan EDU or Rhythm. And then once it shows up, um, you can click it and it'll go to install. Now, for the sake of speed, I'm going to not worry about letting this synchronize because it might take a while. Here we have the script file and I have it grouped into two different rectangular regions, one where we're, we are retrieving the Revit files from a specific location, and one where we're telling it to save and close the file to the latest version. And the way it works is very, very simple. You have a file directory path that you browse to the location of your files. So I click Browse, and I'll go tell it where the files sit. So in this example, it's going to be under my temp folder. and it's under the Dynamo with Revit and files for upgrading. Now that <clears throat> the software knows what directory to look at, we have to tell the software to filter the content to only look at .rvt Revit files. Um, now we're talking about Revit projects, so they're .rvts. If you need to upgrade Revit family files, make sure this extension is .rfa, okay? And then once you've done this, it'll create the list Okay, and right now everything says no for me because I have it set to manual, okay? Uh, because I don't want it to run right now. Once the script knows the directory, has filtered out all the files and only is looking at the revit.rvt files, it'll create the list of files that are needed to upgrade. Now, here's a, one little caveat. If you have Revit files that have other Revit files linked into them, Make sure those linked Revit files are in the same location. And if they're in a subfolder directory, 
then you'll want to use this list reverse command here to reverse the list so that Dynamo knows to open up the link file, Revit files first before opening up the host Revit files. Because if you tell it to open up the host Revit files, um, it's going to have a little bit of a hiccup because you've got linked Revit files in there that have not been upgraded to the latest version. So this list reverse node basically switches the order. Once that order is um, set up properly, it will then take those files, audit them, detach them if, from central if necessary, and then save the file and close the file. So if the operation is set to true, uh, it'll run. If it's set to false, it will not run. So I'm going to click uh, and switch this to automatic, or I'll click run, either choice, and the process will begin. So I'm going to click run. And what happens is you'll get an hourglass symbol, and you'll start to see stuff happening in the background in Revit. So if I click over to Revit, if it lets me, depending on the interface, now this one is not letting me, um, you can see down here in the status toolbar that it's opening files and it's giving a percentage level. So you know it's actually running. If you're working with Dynamo and most other applications, it's advisable for having uh, multiple monitors. Okay, And that way you can move this Dynamo window interface away and you can look at the Revit screen and see what's going on. Now, if we head back to the Dynamo window, it says the run is complete. So how do we know we didn't get any errors, and how do we know it actually saved the files? If there were any errors, then the Revit dialog, inbox, dialog box would pop up and tell you what the errors are and that you need to fix them. Also, if we head over to the directory, you'll see the files that we're working with and all the backup files that will say 0001. So as you can see, we have um, all the files that were being used and their backup files. So we know that these files have been upgraded to the latest version. Depending on how many files you need to upgrade, this might take a little bit of time. Okay, These files here are not that big. The biggest one is 35 megs. Um, and it's a fairly developed um, model. There's tons of content in it. So, But if you had a Revit file that was, say, 100 megs, and you had 100 of them, um, or 200 that you needed to upgrade, then it'll take a little while. But doing it this way via Dynamo is still a lot faster than dragging and dropping into Revit and then save and close, save and close manually. So thank you very much for watching.